friends and welcome back to another video. I have something to confess, which is that I am still absolutely captivated by Garfield Eats. I, Nathan Masri haunts me in my dreams every night and I have to talk about this. I'm going to once again take you on the adventure that is Garfield Eats if you have no idea what I'm talking about. I made this video a little while ago, a couple of months ago. I introduced the concept of Garfield Eats. It's this restaurant the, the world's first intergaging Garfield mobile restaurant, but essentially it's a, a Garfield themed restaurant. Started out in Dubai, they recently opened one in Toronto, which is where I live. So I kind of went through all of the, the news articles that were coming out about it, uh, some of the strange memeable qualities of Garfield Eats, and then I vlogged the experience of going there with a bunch of my patrons. Uh, spoiler alert, the food was really, really questionable. The pizza kind of just tasted like cardboard and lasagna was a weird gelatinous mush, which later intrigued me to read some of the reviews that other people have left of Garfield Eats, and I found something very strange. But before we get into that, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this week's sponsor, Audible. Take it away, sponsor Tia. You already know that in this house we stand Audible. I love them, I use them all the time. They are the only thing getting me through my early novels course right now. Audible content includes an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news, and comedy. The best part is that it's super convenient. You can listen anytime, anywhere, and on any device. They are absolutely essential for me as someone who has to do a lot of reading for school, whether that is just to save time so that I can listen while I'm doing other chores, or to help me get through books that I find a little tedious. This is a call-out post for Daniel Defoe. One audiobook that I very highly recommend is 2312 by Kim Stanley Robinson. I listened to it back when I was still a bit skeptical about audiobooks, but uh, this book is phenomenal, and I ended up getting super into the audiobook. So head on over to audible.com slash strangeons or text strangeons to 500-500 to get your 30-day free trial with Audible and get one free audiobook and two free Audible originals. And back to the video. Garfield Eats, Toronto and it has four stars. Intrigue. The pizzas are unique, delicious, and incredible. I tried chicken pizza, which is Roy's chicken pizza. The sauce is so tasty. <laughs> the sauce is so orange is what it is. It's 100% natural and no preservatives and artificial flavors. Amazing service. Extremely surprised by the quality of this place. My food was delicious. The carrot juice I got was juiced right in front of me and tasted extremely fresh. Very good pizza. Not excellent, but still very good. Toronto is a very difficult place to find the perfect pizza. I can name like five fantastic pizza places off the top of my head, but okay. I tried this for the first time tonight. Tried the lasagna, which the manager recommended. I personally make the best lasagna and I'm always cautious about the claims of award winning, but I have to say the lasagna was delicious. So naturally I started reading these and I thought, what episode of Black Mirror is this? These other five star posters were obviously paid to write their reviews. Worst pizza I have ever had in Toronto. It is an abomination to pizza. I genuinely think we have a Garfield Eats conspiracy on our hands. Like I 100% believe that all of these five star reviews are fake because I have been there. You, they can't lie to me. I have experienced Garfield Eats. Entered mid evening on a Friday night, stayed several minutes and no staff came out. I left without ordering everything. Full disclosure, I am a former vendor who was still owed several hundred dollars from this company. I didn't know their concept, I just went there, ordered ridiculously pricey lasagna and pizza at the counter, waited for 25 minutes, and finally had their food at home. Don't think I will come back, but the pizza was a cute shape anyways. The pizza taste was so weird and dry, and nothing is special other than the cat face. Scam slash fraud alert, do not use their app to order anything, it will not come and they will charge your card. Also, they don't respond to their friends happiness center chat. I looked at this in the last uh, video about Garfield Eats on their website, the like customer service thing is called like the friends happiness center. <laughs> And it's really uncomfortable. The absolute worst restaurant experience of my life. No tables. Pizza had some weird orange sauce. Rude staff. Avoid at all costs. Honestly, when we went, uh, the person working there was very, very nice and answered a lot of our questions about the place. So I have no uh, desire to diss the staff. I have nothing but respect for people who have to say Garfuccino in a serious context on a daily basis. What on earth is this culinary embarrassment? Why? It isn't even a good gimmick? I'm sorry, are you insulting Garfield in my good Christian home? Capitalism has failed. <laughs> so this is the Garfield Eats Instagram, which we looked at in my last video, but I still follow them and honestly, it gets 
weirder every day. I saw this on my Instagram timeline and I thought that it was posted by the Garfield Eats meme account. Someone who watches my videos uh, was, was deeply touched by our last Garfield Eats video and made like a fan meme account. Absolutely phenomenal Instagram account. But I thought that this was one of their posts. Garfield's orangey secret sauce infused with truffle oil is what you will come back for more. All natural family ingredients. What? What's in the sauce? Farming ingredients. My essence bathe in it, you heretics. <laughs> Nathan Masri turns to you and strokes your face. Love me, feed me, don't leave me, he purrs. Garfield's special sauce. Yeah! Yeah! They have a couple other sauce posts, but none of them are quite as uncomfortable as Garfield's secret sauce. I hate Monday, so I am closing Garfield Eats. Um, uh, yeah, definitely not because their business is failing. But I do kind of feel bad saying that. Garfield Eats is not, um... It's not like Onision, where we're all just waiting patiently for his downfall, relishing every second of it. I don't necessarily want to see Garfield Eats fail, but it's it's, it's just a reality that it probably will, you know? Oh yeah, this was super weird. Okay. Congratulations on opening Garfield Eats World, the first restaurant for Garfield. I think that's amazing. That was really hard to say. <laughs> uh okay, I think this is an actress that was in one of the Garfield movies? Question mark? She's somebody famous. I don't know. Um, but she was clearly reading off of a script there because she just said, like, that was hard to say. Um, and it just came off as super so creepy so to me, but anyway. Cool. I want to come check that out. Uh, I loved working on the Garfield movies. I was a big Garfield yeah. um, comic fan. Garfield Eats is the world's first Garfield quick hashtag mobile, hashtag restaurant, and hashtag store. Hashtag intergage with the hashtag Garfield Eats hashtag app. On the, w on the wall to play, order, and watch. A cashierless experience in today's digital era. Interesting, have they also completely gotten rid of like the, the staff that takes your order? I'm not gonna say anything. I do want to show you Garfield Eats Fan, which is the meme account. This is what my channel has come to. This, this is my legacy. Oh wow, okay, so we've got some nice Valentine's Day cards. I'll slurp you like a Garfuccino. You would look sexy in Garfield cosplay. I would eat your ass like Garfield Eats lasagna. Garfield Eats is fine dining, change my mind. What if we kissed outside the Garfield Eats? Dudes, we'd be working hard at earning that dough right now just to get to Garfield Eats. Oh yeah, there was a, there was an ongoing thing on this account about the person who runs it trying to get to Garfield Eats because they don't live uh, super close. So I think they did eventually get there. Tee hee, we have made it, boys. Heck yeah, the holy land, so holy. Hey, Nathan Masri, this is the man, the man behind the magic. I cackled for like five minutes straight at this. Now this photo caught me by surprise to be spotted in my hashtag Garfield orange suit. And it's just like this perfectly posed shot of him just like looking suave in his orange Garfield suit. <laughs> He's posted some videos from his Cameo account on his story, and they're so special. Well, I was just minding my own business, reading the Garfield comic books sent to me by the Center for Cyber Safety, in which Jim Davis uh, desires Garfield Eats to support. And I was booked for a request for Nathan, Nathan Lee Erickson. Cool name, I would brand the hell out of it. Co-founder at Garfield Eats app, world's youngest, Garfield licensee, inventor of Garfield shaped pizza mold, executive chef for Garfield Eats, public speaker, advocate against suppression, youth actualization coach. Love a man who can do it all. Love me, feed me, don't leave me. I'm gonna stop that in case it's copyrighted. Love me, feed me, don't leave me. At Garfield Eats, at Garfield, my mission is for hashtag Garfield and I to become as beacons for hashtag inclusivity, hashtag diversity, hashtag youth, and hashtag innovation in this divided. Hashtag world. Youth is an asset, not a liability. So I think that's his catchphrase. Um, feel free to visit hashtag Garfield Eats in hashtag Toronto and use G code first 20% off upon walk-in. You deserve it. Hashtag pizza. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so pumped. Yeah, he posted this article. We tried the new pizza and lasagna at Garfield Themes Restaurant in Toronto. We have some questions. I, this entire article, I believe I read, is, is not positive towards them, um, but I love how he posts anyway and spins it into positive attention. He tagged the person who wrote it um, and said, I'm here for the answers. Since moving to Toronto from Montreal, I've been at the Toronto Star Reader and was a major hashtag foodie. I especially look forward to the food reviews. Okay, 
and the cartoon section. The hashtag Garfield Eats hashtag restaurant has evolved so much since this review slash initial opening and we listen to the voices that matter most, our amazing community. So many different types of people share my love and fascination for Garfield and I know we owe it to them to provide something that even the hashtag big cat would be proud of. Okay, uh, when was this posted? July 3rd, okay. I believe we went after that. One of the people who went with us had been before. The first time he went, uh, we got a live report um, on Discord voice chat, and apparently the pizza was uncooked in the middle, um, and just very weird and bad and borderline inedible. So the one we got uh, was at least edible. So when he says in this post that they've, they've changed so much since the initial opening, um, they, they made the food actually edible? <laughs> All human beings, regardless of income level, deserve to eat right and natural ingredients. They have this whole gimmick of being healthy and ethical, which I, I cannot truly verify because I don't actually know what's in their food. But, you know, given that it's super, like, bland and sad, um, I, I would assume that it is healthier than most, like, greasy fast food pizzas. But, like, if you're trying to be healthy, is Garfield Eats your number one choice? Everything about this restaurant, all of the branding, everything just says fast food. Like, it's- th there's a conflict there. Unleash the kid within you with our kid-alt meal for kids and adults. Enjoy a six-inch Garfield-shaped pizza with fries and fresh juice, apple, orange, or carrot, only $8.99. Oh wait, make sure you watch Garfield and Friends series while you enjoy your meal. How cool is that? I have no fond childhood memories of Garfield. Maybe it was a little bit before my time, but like, not really. I still remember the Garfield movies, I still remember Garfield comics, I just don't remember them being good. You know? Like, does anybody like Garfield this much? It's so- it that's why this concept is so wild, like, of all things to fixate on. Garfield? I'm kind of curious to check out the official Garfield account. Damn, Garfield has quite a lot of followers, okay. They just post Garfield content, okay? Alright then. Comic strip star, pop culture icon, this is Garfield official Instagram. This page is rated G. Garfield. <laughs> Play nice. <laughs> and Garfield is verified, okay. I see how it is. A cartoon cat can get verified, but not me. Listen, Instagram. I'll let it go if you verify my long Furby in the place of me. That's not a joke. When I described the experience of a Garfuccino to someone recently, she was like, how do you fuck up a cappuccino? Well, the one I got was like a chocolate or hazelnut, something like that. It had a very strong smell. Like, it's, it smelled- it smelled really good, but then you drink it, and the, the flavor is just so... not there, and like, watered down, and n not good compared to the smell, and your, your brain is just confused. So if you live in Toronto, a, a unique culinary experience is awaiting you. Or if Garfield has truly touched your soul, you can come on a pilgrimage here to eat some dry, sad orange pizza. I, Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, friends, and I will see you in another one very, very soon.